Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So I thought to myself, I should do a library tour. And um, I don't have a very big library, but I do have a number of book series. And one of the series that I've collected is a Time Life series. And Time Life books, I don't know, for those that were around back in the late 80s, early 90s, I believe, um, Time Life always uh, offered a series of books or a themed series of books uh, that you could purchase. And uh, I always enjoyed watching those infomercials and uh, always wanting to buy the books. But, you know, as a young teenager, I never had the money to buy them, so I never went around and got them. But uh, over time, as I got older, uh, I did see them pop up on uh, used book sales, and uh, I was able to pick up two series. And the series that I'm going to talk about for this series of videos, so this is not going to be one long video. I'm going to break this up into a series of videos, but the series that I'm going to be talking about is the Lost Civilization series. So they look like this, and they're not very big books. You can see that. That's one of the books. And they're all under 200 pages, and essentially it just talks about the various ancient civilizations that had existed throughout uh, the world since the beginning of man. And uh, they're very well illustrated. Very well illustrated. You see the skull there. This is early Europe. And there's a whole bunch. And the Time Life series, Lost Civilizations, is broken up into various sections. So we've got uh, Greece. We have Rome. We have the Celts and the Vikings. We have the Near East. We have the Far East. We have South America. And then we have Egypt and Africa as well. So this video, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the books that I have. I've collected all of the Lost Civilization books, and I will give you a brief overview of those books right now. One moment, please. Okay, so for European civilization, we have one, two, three, four books. Well, not European, Roman civilization, essentially. We have Early Europe, Mysteries in Stone. That's the book. Nice looking book. Let me just put that down. We have the Etruscans, Italy's lovers of life. Now the Etruscans were a civilization that predated Roman society. And they were actually kings over Rome until they were overthrown. We have Pompeii, the vanished city. And as many of you already know, Pompeii was a city that was um, covered in ash during the volcanic eruption of the volcano who I can't remember right now. And then we have the final one, Rome Echoes Imperial Glory. There we go. And let's switch over to Egypt. So for Egypt, we have two books in the series. We have Ramses II, Magnificence on the Nile. So that's the book. And then we have Egypt. Land of the Pharaohs. And again, these are all under 200 pages and lots of illustrations. So let's go over to the Ramsey's book. Yeah, lots of interesting illustrations. And when you know it, I can't find any right now, but there's one. And these aren't like textbooks or historical books that, uh, you know, you would read and write a thesis on or anything. These are just fun books that give you a brief overview of the ancient society. We have the only African book in the series, Africa's Glorious Legacy. And I've not gotten around to reading this one. I do have to read it. And, uh, you know, the cover shows you the continent of Africa. There you go. And this one itself, let's look at what the contents of this one is. Opening the door on Africa's past. The Nubian Ascent to Greatness, West Africa, Kingdoms of the Savannah and Forest, and then Cities of Stone and Coral, Built on Gold. So I don't know very much about African civilization, ancient civilizations. I do know of uh, Nubia, and uh, they also built pyramids as well. Their pyramids were much, much steeper than the Egyptian pyramids, and um, not as large. And it will be interesting to read... This one, I'm hoping that uh, I get to learn more about uh, the ancient civilizations in Africa. What else do we have? Hold on, please. Okay, so for South America, we have four books. We have 
Incas, Lords of Gold and Glory. We have the Magnificent Maya. So all of these books were printed uh, between 1995 and I would, well, in the mid, early to mid 90s. So a lot of the information that has been discovered since then, especially Mayan civilization, uh, would not be in these books. But again, uh, the Maya have cities buried in forests, desolate without a name, gods, blood and kings, royalty and the seeds of doom, the Yucatan, where the lucky days ran out. And again, it's beautifully illustrated. So wonderful pictures in these Time Life books. So I am looking forward to reading that one as well. Oh, Aztecs, Reign of Blood and Splendor. So there's another South American ancient history book. And then finally, The Search for El Dorado. There you go. And again, wonderful pictures within each book. What else do we have here? So we went through Egypt, Rome, uh, South America. We went through Africa. Let's jump over to the Celts and the Vikings. Okay, so we have the Celts, Europe's people of iron. Yeah, let's just open that up. Yeah, not too bad. Some Roman forts, some gold coins. And then we have Vikings, raiders from the north. Right there. Oh, beautiful illustrations. And let's jump over to Greece. One moment, please. Okay, so the Time Life series uh, are a little light on Greece. They only have two books on ancient Greece. Wondrous Realms of the Aegean. And then Greece, Temples, Tombs, and Treasures. Oh, very nice. Wonderful illustrations on that one, too. What do we have here? Oh, we have South Asia, so the Far East. Hi. Okay, the Far East. So we've got Southeast Asia, a past regained. So I have not read a lot of um, history books on the South Asian cultures. So these will be interesting reads as well. And I picked these books up years ago, um, a decade ago, maybe. <laughs> Uh, they were all used, but they were in great condition. And I think I got the entire set for, I can't remember. It must have been either $100 or just under $100. Ancient India, Land of Mystery. So this looks like an interesting one. Oh, wow. Look at that one. That's, that's a very nice picture there. And of course, you must not forget China's Buried Kingdoms. So this one has a little damage on the bottom there, but you know what? For used books that are almost 30 years old, these are amazing deals. Okay, so we went through Africa, China, uh, South America, Rome, Egypt. We went through the Vikings. We went through Greece. And now the one left is the ancient Near East. And let me get those for you. Hold on, please. So this is the largest uh, portion of the series. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six books in there. And again, under 200 pages, uh, lots of illustrations, just meant for someone who's curious in ancient history. We have the Holy Land. So this looks pretty good. Nice pictures there. We have Mesopotamia, the Mighty Kings. Now this one I did read and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this one so much that I picked up the other one. Hold on, please. The other one is Mesopotamia, the Mighty Kings. Same title, bigger book, so it has more information in it. Actually, you know what? I picked this book up first. So this was the first book I picked up and I loved it. This was a wonderful book. Uh, great illustrations. You know, again, not, not a book that uh, you would be reading in college or university, but a great book for the layman historian who just wants to get a good grasp of the uh, civilization in question. So we talked about Mesopotamia, the Mighty Kings, Anatolia, Cauldron of Cultures. So this is Turkey. So this would be the Hittites. 
and whatever other civilizations are there. Uratu. Oh, okay. So Uratu. So this isn't just uh, Turkey. This is also above the Zargos Mountains. So a little bit of Mesopotamia here. We have Persians, Masters of Empire. So this is going to be a good read as well. And again, a little damage there, but you know what? For the entire set, for about $100 or a little less than $100, it was well worth it. Yeah, great pictures there. Sumer, Cities of Eden. So this is one of the earliest known civilizations uh, we have uh, with written records. Tales from the Death Pits, creating a dictionary for a language, creating dictionaries for a language written in clay. And then wonderful illustrations, like really nice illustrations there. And then finally, we have Mound Builders and Cliff Dwellers. And I bunched this in with the Ancient Near East section. I'm not sure if... Oh, it is not the Ancient Near East section. It apparently is uh, the Americas. So what's the... Uh, table of contents here. The Adena and the Hopwell, a monumental heritage. Temple Mound Builders, the High and the Mighty. The Southwest, thriving in a pitiless domain. And the Anasazi, Masters of the Canyons and Cliffs. So I don't know anything about Amer ancient American civilizations. I know a little bit about the Maya, the Aztec, and the Incas. But uh, north of that, I have not really read anything about those civilizations. Interesting stuff. I mean, I'm going through the pictures here. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say because I don't know. I don't have any context here. But they're nice illustrations. A little map. Some pictures there. Yeah, so this is the Time Life series that I got. I have another Time Life series. Uh, it is, what is it? The Mysteries. This is the uh, Supernatural series. These are the ones I've got for those. And I'll do another video on Mysteries of the Unknown. And I think I have the entire set. I think I have all 31 books. And again, I got these used. Um, these, again, I think they were under $100. I think I might have paid $50 for the entire set. I am big into, um, not encyclopedia sets, but uh, sets like this that have a theme and they've got a number of books under that theme and they're not huge chunkers. They can be read on a weekend if you've got, if you're curious about something uh, like, well, I'm not curious about the psychics, but I was curious about alchemy. Uh, so, and it had it in there. Oops, I just dropped my stuff. Anyways, we will talk about mysteries of the unknown in another video. This video is just to talk about the Time Life series, Lost Civilizations. And uh, in future videos, I will go through each themed section of the Lost Civilizations and talk about the books in that section. And yeah, that's my Ancient Civilization Time Life series library. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. Oh, let's go to South America. I don't know anything about Afri ancient or African civilizations except for Egypt and Carthage. What else do we have? Hold on. Has a lot of books. <laughs> the other one is right here. Africa's lost. Africa's not lost. Africa's glory. <laughs> Africa's glorious legacy. Look at that picture. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That is a beautiful mask.